we're, we're we're going off the rails here. Let's uh let's uh, we do that regularly. Yeah, yeah let's let's settle cross. back in. Let's take a look at the uh, the new table that was announced, which was uh, Star Wars collectibles or classic yeah. collectibles, I guess is what it's yes. actually being called. So let's bring. I'm just not even gonna play yet. I'm just gonna go check out the action figures. That's rad. It's um, pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just like that right off the bat. Looks Is like there's like, a um, Commodore 64 in the background. Uh, yep. Or the key. That, that, you know, the... Is that sort of like I wasn't really into the Star Wars collectibles at the time. Is that sort of like what the box would look like if you're in a retail store? Like thematically, you'd have like the top card would be that sort of art on it. And you'd yeah, have it like was the it was a big it was title just... card down the bottom. Yeah, you just had the big Star Wars across the top, and then it had the the blister pack with the the figure just floating yeah. in it, and then yeah. to the side of that was an image from the movie. Ah, there you go. So, so they they pretty much emulated that feel. Yeah, in in there, which is cool. Uh, so this one is Star Wars music the entire time. So while we play, look this, at this before you go. About, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Before you go, look at the brand on the TV, Universum. Universum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, very funny. Uh, here we go. So we're playing. Wooshka. Whoa, look at that thing. Hello, what? Jackpot. Wait, what thing? Hold on. <laughs> look at the big go. curly tower. Look at oh, the big curly great. tower. Hello, Jackpot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like, it's, like so it's, it. So it's captured ball. Uh, probably. Yeah, it looks like a maybe ball. a magnet yeah, a there ball. or something. I'm not sure. Is it that? No, that's just a stand. I think that's I a light. It. It's right over here. It's the same thing. So that's just a stand-up. Yeah, target. it's a stand-up target. Yeah. Um, but uh, the even these little lightsabers they look like very toyish. Yep. Um, yeah, very toyish. So I'll go through here. Looks like we got a little toy falcon there. Got the X-wing yeah. in the back. Straight up action figure, uh, Jabba Ooh, Hutt. Look at, looks like Jabba the Hutt's a blow up. Look, oh no, that's actually. The, well, I mean, I see what you're saying from the glossy, but that was how the uh, the figurine toy was. Was you yeah. wiggled the, his head and the tail wiggled. Oh, so when you, when right, you okay. His head, it would wiggle the tail. So they've actually got the original. I've obviously done. I would be curious to know if they if they deep. licensed from Hasbro um, or Kenner. Well, because I think Kenner Toys got bought out by Hasbro. So oh, I assume they yeah. be, but I, I'm curious to know if they licensed their molds. I reckon they probably would have just or if their action collectors. figures are slightly different enough that they don't have to claim. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Boing! There's, there's, I love that. There's just like this eject of the action figure, and then it comes to life. And they actually come out of the. It's like they come out of the play field. Like well, they, they, they come out of the out packaging. Of the yeah, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a it's a, a spring that a spring. That yeah, popped it. It's freaking cool. I like this, and they and they look like toys. I was gonna say, hold on, like, let me go, let me go back there to uh, to what Chewie looked like. So Chewie, okay, so here's the thing: Chewie was never articulated that way. <laughs> oh, okay. He, I mean, he, he you know, he didn't. No, he was a stiff arm. He went like he went okay. like that. That was that okay. was the extent of Chewie's arms. Um, okay. But obviously, that would be boring for animated purposes. So I wonder when yeah, he's in the box hard, if he has these if he's got the the elbow joint or not. Um, hmm. All right. Well, it looks like there's locks in the back there. We can see that there's almost like yeah, a, there's a multi ball lock one lock it's two like a ramp. It's like a ramp at the back there or something maybe. Yeah. I don't know what that is. That thing in the middle that you're hovering the mouse over looks interesting. Right. It looks like a a, a loop thing. Is it, I was gonna say a loop or does this maybe do these block and come down so like you have to open the like, do they hinge up and down? Looks like they hinge. Kind of looks like a hinge. Yeah. I don't know. It almost looks like they're kind of emulating the TIE fighter wings. Right. That's what I was thinking myself, too. Emperor all sitting back there. Boing! Figures flying all over the place. I think they said that there was 12 action figures that could be collected. 12. Relive classic moments. Oh, yeah. See? See the yeah. thing moving? Go back yeah. a bit. Hold on, hold on. Ah, pause. <laughs> Where's the pause button? I think this is where the moment that you're. Yeah, the thing that that on. loop if thing I can moves. Get my... Oh yeah, it's closed right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's all the figurines. That's pretty cool. Oh yes. Yeah, and look at that pinball okay. FX Star Wars pinball VR. Hold on, I gotta. Not I gotta... pinball FX three. I gotta see what action figures that they have here. 
You got Han, Jabba, Jawa, Lando, Leia, Luke, Luke Obi Wan, Scout Trooper, Stormtrooper. Yeah. Is what? There's like fifteen. I thought they, I thought it was twelve. Twelve. I thought I thought that's what uh, Mel had said in the uh, episode. Okay. Um, could be. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. That's an interesting looking table. I mean, for for a Zen original to come up with something completely on their own, but still fit into the vibe of the era that they're playing with, because um, we're really doing nice we're dealing done. with classic trilogy. Um, you know, it's a question of how it plays. Ultimately, obviously, it it looks like there's a lot of interesting stuff to interact with there. There's a lot of I can see like Zen originals always play homage to other tables. So you've got elements of um jackpot with the spiral um, oh, yeah. and and right and sorry um pinbot sorry originally with the spiral and jackpot um so it looks like they've done something different with that spiral though it looks like there's two paths that you can take on it from from the video which okay. will be interesting to see and that diverted thing up the back mm -hmm. that's going to be interesting to see how that interacts with the ball and what it allows you to do because it looks like it's it's like an integral part to how you access ramps i just just from the yeah. way the balls were like flying around it so let's think here a minute though about licensing because it's our favorite topic um yeah licensing that they, uh, i mean obviously again it's not just a matter of licensing with lucasfilm style yeah they're it's licensing like a, with a toy company also again if assuming now nowhere does it mention I mean, in the, you know, in the fine print at the end, it doesn't say Kenner or Hasbro. Um, no. That'll be a question that we'll have to... See bring. if we can get an answer from yeah, someone, from, somebody. from maybe Mel. You know, what that is. But 